In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of e to the power 3 over x all over x squared. And again, unless it's obvious as to what method you're going to use, whether it's partial fractions, integration by parts, strict substitution, u sub, unless it's obvious, I usually go with the u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal to 3 over x. And you're always looking ahead. Why do you select? Why did I select u to be 3 over x? Because when I take the derivative of this, and think of this as 3 times x to the negative 1, same thing. Take the derivative, it's negative 1 times 3, negative 3. Subtract 1 from the exponent, negative 1 minus 1 is a negative 2. And then it's a dx. And then I look at my integrand here. Got e to the 3 over x. And then this part right here, you can look at that as dx over x squared. So I'm going to divide through by a negative 3. Have a negative here. And then this will be du over 3. And this gives me just x to the negative 2. The negative 3 got divided out, so x to the negative got negative 3 then cancelled, and then x to the negative 2 can be written as 1 over x squared. So I'll just write it under the dx. Then I go back over here to my main integral here. So this will be the integral of e and then the exponent is 3 over x, but that's what my u is. So this is just going to be e to the u. And again, like I said, the dx over x squared, dx over x squared can be replaced by du minus du over 3. And I'm going to put the negative 1 third out in front. And then this will be du. Now we integrate with respect to u. Got the exponential e to the u. Integrating with respect to u, that's just e to the u. Have to know your basic formulas. And then this is negative one third here, plus the constant of integration. And then never leave your answer in terms of u. Always go back to the original variable, which is in this case x. So it's negative one third. And then it's c. E. And then the u is replaced by. 3 over x plus the constant integration. And that's your answer. And I always remind you that if you have time, go ahead and check your answer. If you take the derivative of this expression here, it should give you the integrand. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.